Sorry y'all about that. That's my microphone popping and snapping and papping. I'm trying to pick it up and whatnot. Yeah, man, y'all should check out this new Cinebench version, version 20. I just found out today, so I'm checking it out myself. Doing a little benchmark run. It actually is different. You can go higher this time. On the old Cinebench, multi threads, I used to get around like 13. Now I'm getting like almost 3,000. That's weird. My single core went up to 375. On the old one, I have to get like, what, 175, 180? Now I'm getting like 300 and stuff. So it's a little bit different from the original. Well, at least from the R15 it is. Who in the world is that in there doing all that talking? Jesus Christ, you can't get no peace and quiet around here. Okay, let's see what I'm against. Uh, 2712. Okay, let me run it again. That's just one time, I run it twice. That's pretty good, 2712. As you can see, my previous score right there was 2718. I scored high the first time I did it. But see, that time I didn't record it. I didn't record it that time. Now I'm gonna record it. And see, my CPU is at stock. Let me go back. See right there, 3.6. So I don't have it overclocked. So I'm gonna try overclock after I do this. Of course, you know I got to run single thread. It won't be no fun if you don't do single thread. People always do multi multi thread, but they don't do single thread. I'm gonna do both. Stock and overclock. And see see how, how much difference I get. I kind of like this one better than the old one though. I think it's better. At least you can get more points this time. Santa Bench release 20. Actually, I found out about it on YouTube. I, found, <laughs> I was on YouTube. This guy had said something about, y'all know Cinnabon's got a new release called Cinnabon's 20. I'm like, what? So I checked it out. Sure enough, here I am benchmarking my CPU. I'm using the old Broadway E. 6850K, man. I'm upgrading this eventually. When the third ride, third gen rises come out, <clears throat> I'm going to get me one of them. Definitely got to get me one. This chip, it's the 6850K ain't bad, man. It's just, it don't overclock that great. And then it's, it draws a lot of heat. It's hard to keep it cool, too. So that's why I kind of want to upgrade. Uh, it's 27.13. Well, y'all can see that this is not my high score. My highest score I got was 27.18. That's me here with the 6850K. See, the first time I did it, that's what I originally got. I don't know why I'm getting lesser now. But anyway, that's all cool. You can run single thread. Single core. I think last time I did this, I got 375, I believe. Yeah, right there. Oh, no, it ain't showing it right now. Uh, let me see something. There it is. Uh, oh, I'm not even on here. Yeah, I am. Right here. Number um, five. I got, yeah, 375. I was, what, three spaces behind? What CPU this is? Oh, the 1700X. And that's an 8 core 16 thread. I don't know if that was that stock, man. I don't know. I don't know if that was that stock or what, but I'm right on the 1700X heels. And this chip here, right on my heels. Who this is right here? With 359. It's the, uh, oh, 6700HQ. What that is like a laptop or chip though i don't think it's a desktop but i'm curious to see what i get this time you know, i'm just doing this for good measures y'all because y'all see i've done it before so if i get less than 375 you know that's, that's not not that's not my best score my best score is right here i might get more i might get less i got less on the single on the uh, multi-core so but i will be doing Overclocks too. I will right, be doing that. Man, this thing takes a long time though. Oops, excuse me.
center bench or 20. To be honest with you, man, I never thought they would release another version of center bench. I thought we were going to have to keep using center bench or 15. I kind of like it though. I like it better than the original. Let that run out. It's going to take a while. So. But an old one took a long time too, so this ain't nothing new. Yeah, man, I'm fitting this new R, uh, center bench R20, I mean, release 20 version. Definitely fitting this version. But like I said, man, who ever thought they'd release another version of this, though, but I didn't. I didn't think they'd be real. And I don't think none of us did, man, but they did. So y'all know I had to do a quick um, video of it. You know I had to do that. <clears throat> yeah, I had to make me a video. I had to, man. And I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to see more come up. People doing the same thing. Uh, recording their video on their CPU they using. Some of us got new CPUs. Some of us got old CPUs, man. This thing ain't taking a long time. With the old, I forgot the old one took a long time, so this ain't nothing new. I just gotta wait it out and be patient. I'm just curious, I'm gonna get more, I'm gonna get less. Cause I know last time on the multi core, I got the first time I got pretty good, second time I got less, and third time I got less. So I may get less again on the single core. But at least I know that won't be my best score. I know what my best score is. Got a 375 originally. So if I get like a 371, I know that ain't, that's not my best score. Surely, surely, we'll be getting there. Surely, surely. Man, I think some people get graphics cards just to benchmark them. <laughs> I think some people do. I think some people get, I know some people that make videos just to benchmark their, their graphics cards. Some of them probably don't even play games. Every time you see them making videos, they all either probably about a benchmark or when they, you know what I'm saying, don't even play games. Some of them probably, I play games, I upload bit uh, gameplay. And I also upload benchmarks too, I do both. One thing I don't do, I don't do uh, content creation, I don't do that. Like get all these reliable sources off the internet and put them together and make my own little video and stuff. <laughs> I don't do that. I'm pretty sure I could if I wanted to, but I just don't do content creation. I just don't. My model is gameplay and benchmarks. That's about it. I mean, I can do other things if I want to choose to stick to benchmarks and doing games. That's what I choose to stick to. And this thing is just halfway through. 
you know what, man? This might be taking longer than the original Santa Bench 15, R15. I don't think that one took this long. I think on R15, you'd have been more close to the finish line by now. Or maybe got a maybe got a bigger picture this time. The picture do looks bigger. I think Santa Bench Santa uh, R Santa Bench R15 was more smaller. This seemed like it's more rectangular. I think R15 had more like a square looking um image. This look more rectangular, so it is. It do look kind of bigger. So it naturally is going to take longer, man. <laughs> well, that's the only downside. It's a bigger image than the last time. Man, it get there when it get there. My grandpa's card right there. Um, GG4, G. Lord have mercy, G fours. RTX 28 right there. Why don't have the um the graphics card part? I noticed I didn't see that. For the GPU. I noticed I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I noticed I didn't see a graphics card. Where the one for the graphics card at? Wow, so they took what it so you mean to tell me they took the graphics card out? GPX board. So I want to do it even have a graphics card part anymore. But I don't see it. But the GPU used to be up there with this one. You can have this one. Wow, that's so they don't have this, the GPU no more. Let me see some. Hold up. No, they don't. All I see is CPU, single core, CPU. Yeah, uh, that's weird. Well, I was, I was trying to figure out why they took the graphics card part out, the graphics benchmark. So I guess we have the mode um, GPU rendering, render test. I don't know why they took that out. That's a minus. They took that out. But let's let me see. So maybe when this get through, I try to see can I find it. They don't like it showing up here. Oh, that's showing the CPU. It would have been nice if they would have kept the GPU rendering test. If they took it off. Because it sure appears like they did take it away. Removed it. Oh, we getting there now. We slowly getting there. Man, this rectangular image take a long time than the one on Cinebench R15. It was more a square image. It, it kind of, it still took long, but it did it quicker than this one did. Man, this video will probably been what? Mm, close to 10 minutes by now? <laughs> and a lot of this got to do with the single core test, because this thing takes forever. It might take about five minutes to do this. Five or six minutes to do this alone. Maybe longer. So this is going to be a pretty long video here. I know it's going to be a long video because I got to do the stock version, which I'm doing now. Then I got to do overclock. But technically it's not really uh, stock because this chip 3.6 is base. And I got it. It's right now. It's running at 38. That's a little old, a little boost. It boosts the 3800 on its own. So it's not technically stock. That is like a minor overclock. So, yeah. But y'all get the picture. I'm actually the date that I'm actually one of my buyers and just disable turbo boost and um, put it back to 36 where it won't, um, where it won't boost up 38. It stay at 36. And then I doubt it being base, um, basically stock, base, the, the base clock. Then that would have been a straight start. Then I overclocked it. That would have been a start for overclock, but I didn't do that. Well, I wasn't thinking. But y'all still get the hint, though. Even though it ain't bone stock. It's close to bone stock. Man, I'm ready for this thing to be over with already, man. Come on.
Okay, well now we get somewhere. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Man, this thing ain't taking a long time. Look how small, look how just short little strides it's taking. I think the center, the center bench 15 did a lot quicker than that. This one here, man, taking forever. Now, once I do this, y'all, I'm going to uh, stop the video. And then I have to go back and overclock my system and then do overclock. And then see the difference. So, this is going to be a, a pretty long video. And I could cut some of these scenes to try to... Okay, three sets. See, I lost two points. This is what I'm talking about. See, the first time I got 375, as you can see here. 6 to 8, 50k. Now I lost three, three point, two points. I don't understand how that happened, but I did. It, it is what it is. Let me see. Uh, keep best score. Yeah. Now, let me see. Why don't they have GP? Let me see something. Gordon has started. Center bench R15. I mean, center bench R20. My bad. All right, let's run this again. This overclock this time. I'm gonna run both at the same time. So run all. See, this this will run them both continuously. Oh well, you know what I mean. They'll run both at the same time. Do it'll do that one, and then automatically run the second one without me have to uh, manually do it. Hope my CPU don't um, crash anything or blue screen. Because he brought what he chips, man. They act funny sometimes. I'm not even sure if I'm even running at 4.4 gigahertz. I can find out, though. Well, actually, I am. I'm at 4.4 gigahertz right here. Okay, now I see that I am now. I wonder if this would this hurt my score here, having that open like that. It probably will. It might hurt my score. I just want y'all to see this that I got it running at 4.4 gigahertz. So, man, them fans are loud. I don't know if y'all can hear that. That thing, man. I don't know if that's the 200. My big fans are almost the 120s. I know they sound loud. Even the headphones, well, I can still hear. CPU at hundred percent. I'm curious to see what I get this time. I didn't bother tapping with the catch, the ring voltage. I like man, that's just too much hazard. It just add more heat to it, so it's bad enough to keep the CPU cool as it is. So I'm not gonna be doing all that. Okay, what I get overclock? Finish a lot quicker that time. Twenty-eight. Uh, that's not that great. And that was overclocked. And I only got twenty-eight. Twenty-eight forty-seven. Wow. I'm gonna have to run that again, y'all. I'm not satisfied with that. When I had it at 3.8, I was getting, I got 27. I got 27, what, 18? So you don't really benefit, you don't really benefit from overclocks on here then. Wow, that's interesting. That's different. So in this version of Center Bench, you don't really benefit from overclocks because 3.8 to 4.4, that's like, that's like a what? 600 megahertz overclock and all that game was a uh, what 27 well, actually I had 28 27 18 it ain't showing up here but I did here it's showing 27 16 and all I went was 28 47 I'm kind of disappointed man I'm expecting to get higher than that 
I was expecting to get like in the three thousands. Wow, unbelievable. Well, that's what it turned out. That's what I saw. Now I'm running single core. Last time I did single core, I got 375. I ran it 200. I got three of my case. No lie, man. Like I said, if y'all don't believe me, go on, my, go on YouTube and PC Gamer. And you'll see my video and you'll see it. You know, and maybe down the line, I might try to, um, hell, I might try to uh, do another video showing it. My three uh, fans I got. I got I got a total of seven fans. I got three big ones. Then I got four 120s. So actually, I got seven fans. Yep, seven fans. I could put more in here because on the top, I could put uh, two, I think three. Or is it two? I could put two more one for this up there. I'm trying to think up here. I think I can put uh yeah, I could put it look like Yeah, I got the option to do two one forties or two one twenties. I could do either one though. I could put two one forties or two one twenties up here. So actually I can put what? Um this case make it fit by nine. Let's see, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's probably about eight, nine fans. Because I got seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Probably about eight, eight, nine. Because I could take that about a fan off the top and put two, one, four. That's, that's, that's be nine fans. Or eight. Wait, three, three, four, five, six. Well, eight fans. Well, I don't need a lot of fans like that, no way, man. I think seven good enough for me, cause I got all the intake air coming in, cause I got my two hundred, uh, my two big fans on the front. Then I got the radiator mounted right in front of the two hundred, um, the two hundred fans. Two of those fans there with the three sixty radiator, and those got three one twenties on that. So I'm getting a lot of intake air. So I'm getting a lot of intake air. I am. So yeah, I like what my case is, man. I like I like it now. I doubt I was I doubt if I ever change cases. I might keep this case forever. I think I did a good thing by switching my case like this. Jesus, man, this thing. This, that's one thing about the uh, mo, uh the single thread, man. The single core. This thing takes forever. Yeah, man. Like I was saying, y'all kind of disappointed with my um up here. This what I got overclocked. The 4.4, as y'all can see, I'm at 4.4 here. 6850K, and I got 2716. Well, actually, it was 18 the first time. Overclock it. Oh, that goes up to 2847. So, I basically, I didn't really gain. I gained some, but not a whole lot. I might have gained, what, 100? If you subtract that from this, that's what? Uh, it's, a little, it's, it's a little over 100 points. I ain't gained that much. Because 2816, that'll be 100 points. So at 2847, that may be what, 100 and what, 47 points? 37, something like that. 140. So I only gained 140 points by doing that. All that overclocking, all that game was 140 points, man. But keep in mind, also, I didn't uh, touch my catch. I didn't touch the catch uh, overclock. You know, I didn't bother that. Now, I'm pretty sure if I'd have raised that to like 35 or 36 on the catch, that probably would have gave me a little boost. I probably got higher than that. And it probably helped my score a little bit. But I didn't do that. I left it at stop because all that is going to make just draw my CPU to draw more heat. So I ain't wanted, I just left that alone. I might have should have did that just to see what I got with the catcher, but I didn't do it. All right, what am I get this time? Overclock on the single core. Cause last time I got what three seventy three or five or something like that. Okay, four twenty one. But see, that's it's not a big increase. It's not increasing that much. 
Oh, but look what I jumped ahead of the Threadripper. Oh, I jumped ahead of that one. That one had like, that's the 1950X, 1632 core, 400, 421. I jumped ahead of it, though. So this is what I originally got right here. 370, actually 375. They ain't, I don't know why they ain't showing my original high score. But this one's saying 373 because I did it twice. So I guess they, when you do it again, it kind of overwrites the other one. And this becomes the new the new high score. So you see right there, I first and I got 373, 9 with the 421. So I only gained, what, 50 some points? Maybe 50 points. That's one thing about this this benchmark. You don't gain much, man. I think un, under the old Sandy bench, you gain a lot, lot more points. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's the same. I don't know. But either way, y'all saw that. So this is my overclock um, right here. 28, 47, 421. And my other one I got, uh, well, they ain't going to show it right there, but that's my, um, at stock, this is what I got at stock. And that's overclock, so I did gain a tad bit. So there you go, y'all. Y'all see it. Stop versus overclock, so yeah. Till the next video, I'm out, man.